Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Hello News. Now before we continue, we'd first like to thank you for subscribing, for liking, for sharing and commenting on our previous video. Now let's get into the business of the day. On our headlines today, we have the monkeypox disease outbreak. Now the world is still dealing with the coronavirus pandemic, even though the panic has died down a bit thanks to the vaccination program as well as the lockdowns amongst other control measures. And now a new disease of concern has made the waves, namely the monkeypox. Before we get into how the disease is spread and what its symptoms are, let's first look at what it is and where it comes from. The World Health Organization, otherwise known as WHO, has stated that this disease is caused by a virus, first detected in monkeys found in regions of Central and West Africa. Earlier in May, the disease was reported to the World Health Organization by non-endemic countries, with over 16,000 confirmed cases in over 70 countries as of this video. The symptoms of monkeypox include a fever, swollen lymph nodes, lesions or skin rash, which can be found on the mouth and the genitalia, um, muscle aches, back pain, headaches and tiredness, amongst others. The disease spreads from an infected person to a non-infected person through close contact. This is done through contact with body fluids such as blood and saliva as well as semen, skin contact with monkeypox lesions, touch and touching surfaces that have been touched by an infected person. Now, similarly, with a lot of diseases, stigma is generated. Hey, hey this one comes from China. Therefore, my China, one, two, three. Hey, hey, this comes from Gaikai. Therefore, our. The stigma around monkeypox spread when quite a number of reported cases were from the same sex community through sexual contact, that is, skin to skin. So, this stigmatization is harmful because it discourages potentially infected persons to seek medical care. On top of that, this could exacerbate the number of non detected infected persons. So I think it's safe to say that two things do not discriminate in life. And those things, kemaluechi, otherwise known as illnesses, and dikozi, jatlao, otherwise known as natural disasters. Now on to lighter news. The 2022 Women's Afcon champions became none other than our very own Banyana Banyana, otherwise known as Banyana Banyana. After they defeated Morocco in a 2-1 final score at the home team's stadium. This was of course their much awaited win after four unsuccessful attempts. Now the national squad was rewarded a whopping 5.8 million rand with each player said to take home over 400,000 rand. Now is this a step in the, in the right direction in terms of gender wage gap? We don't know. You let us know in the comments below. So since our last episode, many news headlines have made the views. I'm going to try and beat the clock in 30 seconds by saying as many headlines as possible. All right, Antoana, ready most. All right. Since the US case was postponed and resumed again following Melati Minchikara Koweteko, suspicious deaths of minors at a tavern due to chemical gas exposure. Results are yet to be released on the exact chemical substance. Vigilante style tavern shootings across the country Petrol price increments, the Dexidina Melegi South African Reserve Bank increased the repo rate even higher. Please watch our previous episode to find out what that means. Ah! Anyway, I'll just proceed. The former Miss South Africa, Lale Lamswane, was crowned Miss Supernatural, becoming the first black woman to be crowned. Okay. The Springboks won their final test match against Wales, claiming a 2-1 series victory in Cape Town. And that wraps the segment of topics in 30 seconds. Now we get to our final segment of the day, and this is called Limarana, otherwise known as What Do You Think? All right. Now, as you may know, unemployment in most South Africa is rife. So here's a picture of a job vacancy and the list of requirements so what we would like you guys to do is to tell us is this a potential scam or is it legit are there any discrepancies 
So let us know what you guys think. Lena kana. Na kwe chayile. Ma, isala marina. Dress warmly. Drink water. Moisturize your skin. Take care of others and take care of the environment. But for now, don't forget to like, subscribe, share, and comment. Until next time, bye.